Welcome to this video. In the previous video, we learned about the surface area of a figure formed by the combination of solids. Today in this video, we will see some examples based on it. The general manager of a private limited company wants to put wallpaper on the outer walls of the company's warehouse. for which he contacts an engineer. We want to put uh, wallpapers of dimension 50 cm square on the outer walls of the company's warehouse. So can you tell how many wallpapers will we need in total? Sure. But before that, can you tell me about the shape and the measurement of the warehouse? The company's warehouse is in the form of a combination of a cylinder and a cone whose heights are 100 meters and 40 meters respectively and the radius of the base of the both is 30 meters. Okay, I'll tell you in some time. The engineer first finds the total area of a wallpaper. What will the engineer have to do to find the total number of wallpapers? Good. For this, the total outer area of the warehouse is to be divided by the area of one wallpaper. Now with the size and the measurement mentioned, the engineer makes a rough picture of the warehouse. He sees that the wallpaper will not be placed on the base of the warehouse and the part where the cone and the cylinder meet. So, in order to find the area of the wallpaper to be applied, he has to find the curved surface area of the cone and the cylinder. But to find the curved surface area of the cone, it is also necessary to know its slant height. Can you help the engineer find the slant height? Correct! The slant height can be found by substituting all the values in this formula. Now, to apply the wallpaper, let us quickly find out the total area of the outer walls of the warehouse, which is equal to the curved surface area of the cone and the cylinder in the warehouse. Can you give the formula for the surface area of the cone and the cylinder? Brilliant! Now, let's solve by substituting all the values. From this, we get to know that the total area of the outer walls on which the wallpaper is to be applied is 23,550 square meters. Now, we will divide this area by the area of a wallpaper so that we get the total number of wallpapers needed. The engineer immediately calls the general manager and tells that he will need a total of 94,200 wallpapers. With this example, we saw how our daily life problems based on solids can be solved. 